Hello my beautiful DBs. Welcome to the first vlog for 2024. Happy New Year. I just did my makeup and I thought we could start the vlog with a little makeup bag clear out and then I wanted to make the bed with you but yeah, I hope that this year will be everything that all of us dreamed of and that it will just be a good year for all of us. I'm excited to spend this year with you. I'm vlogging from my new camera that I shared with you at the end of my very last vlogmas. It was quite the long video but I know you Luffy's enjoyed them because I think I did maybe like five, six or seven videos during the month of December for vlogmas and they were all nice and long. I'm talking like 45 50 minutes to an hour and those were really wholesome and I really did enjoy my time with you so I'm excited to spend more time with you this year we're gonna start the day maybe get sorted with this makeup bag and then we can make the bed together mm -hmm. for a new camera and I just don't love it so it's been a couple of days actually and yeah the Frenchies are back feeling a bit more like myself it's crazy how something so small and insignificant can make you feel like yourself again and also something so small and insignificant like not vibing with a camera can make you just feel a little bit down so yeah it's been a couple of days i actually continued the vlog on my sony zv1 so what i didn't like about the canon v10 was it's a pretty entry level camera so i don't know what i was thinking because i've been on youtube for going on ages so i feel like I like I don't mind paying for a really good quality camera but I've seen so many girlies like vlogging with this camera it's so tiny and compact so I just yeah I literally bought it the day before Christmas and then you saw in the previous vlog it arrived soon after Christmas but the one thing I don't like about it it can't zoom it's doesn't have like a lens protector so i can't just shove it in my bag and you can't remove a battery and put a new battery in you have to charge it like an actual phone so that means like if your battery's flat you can't continue vlogging you have to wait for the camera whereas with this one i'm currently filming on my canon g7x mark ii i have a couple of batteries so i can continue filming you know if the battery is dead i just take it out pop it into the charger and then i put another one in you can buy multiple batteries so with this one it's the same like you don't get a charging block and you kind of charge it with the like a, a cell phone um but you can i think buy a little charging block for it and take the battery out and just get another one um, but I haven't vlogged with this camera in years. I think I got it around three years ago and the quality is so beautiful, but I'm just so used to Canon and I think what stopped me using this camera 
initially was because of the battery life and the flip screen kind of goes out to the side so i'm not used to it and i'm not used to like the structure of it and soon after i got this one the canon g7x mark 3 came out and you saw in the previous vlog that that one completely gave up on me it's completely broken so i was like do i just buy another g7x mark 3 because i wasn't happy with the focus um i wasn't too crazy about it losing focus i feel like the mark 2 holds focus a little bit better Sorry, I'm like getting ready for the day and I just wanted to update you on the vlog. I've been a little bit sad because I continued my vlog on this and then the battery died. So I was like, okay, let me just take the memory card out and pop it into my Canon. And I forgot it happened with the wedding as well. I don't even know if I told you, but we vlogged on this camera for the wedding and luckily i had a content creator there that did my phone and my camera so it was pretty much the same content just like portrait so i managed to use some of the clips for the wedding vlog um but the moment i took this memory card out and popped it into the canon it formats and you lose everything and when that happened this morning when i wanted to edit a little bit i was like shit i forgot i forgot that it does that so yeah i went shopping i did like a whole haul and we're going on a little vacation in a couple of days it's also brent's birthday in a couple of days so i went shopping with you i showed you all i've got and i'm like Ugh. I'm so annoyed and I'm also kind of um, not quite ready to get back to work. I don't know why. Um, but I have a, quite a few um, pieces of content to do. So I'm just going to kind of do what I feel lists for today. <laughs> I'm not going to do much else i think for the remainder of the day i'm actually gonna pack because i have to submit this work tomorrow so since i'm not feeling like it today i might as well just listen to that because i know i'm not going to produce my base work if i just um you know push myself and then i'm not gonna vibe it so i'm gonna see what i just am not in my creative mindset quite yet i feel like i need a little bit of a holiday and i i feel like i just need a little bit of time in nature and just kind of rest and just set my intentions for the year because i was literally working all throughout the festive season so i just feel a little bit meh so i wanted to come on here and say to you Luffy's, if you don't have your intentions set for the year yet if you don't have your ins and outs or your mood board done it's okay it's honestly okay you have 11 more months to crush this year don't let a silly old camera or a little bit of a dip in your energy or just you know if your christmas tree is still up girl that's also fine like honestly we don't have to be so hard on ourselves like i'm for this year i am just all about just feeling how i'm feeling and just listening to that and not forcing myself too much not that i force myself but you know what i mean just being a little bit more kind and gentle to myself i quickly um took everything out in the freezer and i asked my lovely helper to just quickly help me wipe everything down and clean the fridge for me because i just don't feel like i have the energy for it today i usually absolutely love doing it but today i am just not vibing it i guess um but since we are going away in a few days like literally one day I live, we, we're leaving on friday it's wednesday today um it's okay to accept
seek help where it's available to you you know so that you can just be a little bit more kinder to yourself so i'm excited to spend the next couple of days just in nature and chill i'm gonna of course bring you louise along on a little vloggy because i feel like vlogging doesn't really like i feel i feel like it fills me up more than it drains me um what drains me is the technical difficulties like losing a whole day's worth of footage because of software <laughs> and because of something that's completely out of my control and lighting i've spoke about i've spoken about this before like lighting not being good and just you know what we're all just here you know and i just want to show up i want to show up as the best version of myself for that day and like i said if you can accept a little bit of help from time to time do not say no and yeah you are being hard on yourself for not having those intentions and ins and outs and new year's resolutions and all of that girl you are fine like a little bit of a camera dilemma I mean I was like packing on Friday just before we were ready to leave and I was like okay which camera do I take do I take this Sony ZV-1 that I'm vlogging on right now do I take my Canon G7X Mark II like I, what do I do because I was like stressing myself out like how am I gonna vlog like you know what am I gonna do I literally sent back the camera that I started this vlog with by the way, they sent it back to me. I will talk about that just now. But I was just like in such a like stressful mindset. I was like, oh, and something just told me to just leave the camera and just switch off. It's just one week. Like as much as I love you, you know, vlogging and bringing you along and like sharing and just creating content. I love it so much. I just had to switch off and offload a little bit, especially with the year we've had. Like 2023 was such a roller coaster of a year with such like ups and downs, like the highs of highs and the lows of lows. I mean, getting married, becoming a wifey, and you know, you, you get excited about potentially starting a family and you know, going on honeymoon and just doing all of these things. But we were faced with really, really tough conversations and experiences about our future and having conversations with Bryn that he could potentially not be part of my future and me not, you know, being a mom one day because I literally don't see myself with anyone else. Um, it was really like tough and having those conversation, conversations were necessary because I mean, I mean, I didn't want to have him. I was, even when Brain brought it up, I was like, why are we even talking about this? But, you know, undergoing a life-threatening operation, you have to talk about these things. And it was such a scary thing. And it, it made me scared for so many things, like the smallest things, like even just like talking on a story and like opening up on a vlog or just like, 
you know, going about my business and just like being excited and just like sharing stuff, I kind of got, I got scared and I, I got a little bit anxious about life and about things. Um, and I mean, we were away and we didn't have much signal. By the way, we went to Quantani Resort in the Free State in Harry Smith. So many of you asked me on Instagram. It was such a lovely place. We went kayaking. We went on a hike like once, sometimes twice a day. It was so nice. We just experienced nature and just like literally took everything in. Nature can really have such a grounding and healing nature to it you know it has such a grounding and healing nature sorry for the pun but we really just took everything in and it made me kind of offload some of those feelings but yeah since we didn't have a lot of signal I wasn't on my phone um so when I was on my phone a little bit I saw a couple of DMs about a video that Sims made and so many of you are here now because of Sims so I thank her and I appreciate her so much but the way the video made me feel, it made me feel so good because I was like, oh my goodness, like I've been feeling this way the past few years. Like I was like, oh my goodness, am I doing something wrong? Like why? So the video was about um, why I haven't reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube yet. Like after so many years of being on YouTube, this will be, I think my seventh year after seventh or this will be my eighth year. So I've been on YouTube for seven years and like she said, like I was the OG, like part of the OG squad, like putting the camera in the fridge like I even did at the beginning of the video and like vlogging in public when it really wasn't a thing, people would wonder like why is she like talking to a camera and now it's like so many people are doing it and yet still I don't have a hundred thousand subscribers and that night like I was going through some of the comments, most of them were so lovely, like so many of my leafies just like hyping me up and I appreciate you so 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 much some of the comments just made me feel so anxious and like have having self-doubts like I'm not where other people thought I would be by now so like they were comparing me to other people but the thing is like my journey isn't the same like our, none of our journeys are the same and it's not about the end destination it's about the journey and like growing along the journey and you know sharing yourself sharing your experiences you know um how you feel when you do them and how you make others feel when you do step into your purpose and god's purpose for your life and i just i felt so anxious going to i had to stop the video i was like oh my goodness this is not making it came from a very loving and kind place but it was making me feel like I was doubting myself and like why I'm here, like, you know, why, 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 why? And you're probably wondering what this is. I actually had a little bit of a nightmare. I don't know what I can call it. Uh, anxious, anxiety attack kind of thing because I went, bed, went to bed really anxious, really stressed and scared. So I was dreaming um, and when I woke up, I found myself against a wall I was like I got in my dream I got up and I ran I was running away or like run, I was running and I literally ran into like the wall and like the little bit of a vanity space they had in the bedroom the bedrooms were quite small and it's obviously different to what it was here but I I was obviously like my mind was obviously so like stressed and hyped up and I had a conversation with Bren the following day and I shared with him my feelings and he asked me a couple of questions he was like okay so what's the goal like are, if you reach a hundred thousand subscribers are you gonna quit like is that your is that your end destination or are you gonna quit when you reach a, like a million like 10 you know what 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 is the number what would be different if you reach that amount of subscribers like is is that your measurement of success and don't get me wrong it's not like the amount of money and the amount of subscribers like has never been the way I have measured success my way of measuring my success is 
waking up every day getting to do what I absolutely love and sometimes we do rail off of the tracks and focus a lot more on you know things that are less important and just try and accumulate so many like things because we think it's going to make us happy I watched a, um, a show the other day about minimalism less is more less is now and one of the doctors on there said that us as human why we feel more empty when we accumulate more is because we collect the wrong things and we collect less of the important things and things that fulfill us the things that fulfill us are relationships time off I mean the reason why I absolutely loved you know my career from the start was that it brought me freedom it brought me freedom to do what I want to live into my creative and like step into my creative need that I had like creating videos like being creative and like playing with products and then ultimately I got started working with brands and then so many brands reached out that sometimes you get so busy and so overwhelmed that you forget like why you started and you get so caught up in like the, the goal you know I want to reach 100k or a million or I want to drive this car I want to be skinny so I I'll wait until I'm skinny, then I'll dress cute, or I'll wait until I have the perfect house, and then I'll be organized, I'll clean, like, all of that, you know, like, we are this way, like, I don't know why, but we are this way, and we just need to step back and remind ourselves of what is important, important things are relationships, time off, time in nature, and I really just, this week just gave me the opportunity to, to just think what I want for my future and what I want for this year and Brayden and I really just planned that together for the first time as husband and wife we've never done that we've like sat down we like planned our goals we like sat next to each other we were like this is what I want this is what I want and I'm excited to share that with you Leafies I know it's already like past January <laughs> And if you haven't thought about exactly what you want for the year and you, you're so busy with getting back into the year and like still catching up from 2023, that's okay. Like I promise you so many people are going through it and you don't always have to have your shit together. It's okay to take time to offload and make space for the new new. And I'm excited to share more things with you and just kind of have that childlike excitement again for just bringing you along and just like everything in my life and speaking of new new I got this back from take a lot they refused to refund me they declined my refund because they said if the the camera was used I mean if it was a pair of underwear that I wore for a day completely different story but I literally used it for a couple of clips and I noticed that I didn't like it or it, it wasn't for me necessarily so I feel like if you are like a beginner vlogger and you just want to like point and shoot and just like get started with vlogging this is perfect but for me like I just I need a little bit more of an inv advanced camera um so yeah they declined it I don't know why because they never even, they never even opened it this is still sealed exactly in the way that I sent it back to them. I even packed it. I looked at the unboxing video and I packed it 100% the way I got it, even by the user manual. So I was a bit confused, but I am in communication with them and they will hopefully refund me because I just feel like it's, it's bullshit. Like, honestly... Like, why do they, do they not want to refund me? It's not, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the product. I mean, are we not allowed to now open things and use them and decide we, we do not like them? I don't know. I was just so confused. But I'm not going to let that completely ruin my energy. I think for um, a little bit, I think I'm going to get maybe like a charging block for this Sony ZV-1 because I'm, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. I turned off the smooth filter because it had like a smooth filter that I didn't like. The stabilization is a little bit, um, so if I hold it like this and I talk to you, it is a little bit, um, 
and there goes the battery i don't even know what the heck i said but yeah the battery life isn't great on this camera i have it plugged into a little power bank now which helps me to finish this video because to be honest this video nearly didn't happen i was this close i was this close to just trashing the whole thing and just not uploading it but i feel like me uploading it shows that it's okay to stand still for a little bit it's okay to just like look over your shoulder not necessarily go backwards but just looking back and seeing what you did and how you felt in the past and just offloading that so that you can feel lighter in order to move forward i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if it was any you know meaning to you if it meant anything to you and it made you also maybe think of how 2023 was truly a roller coaster and the past couple of years truly was and has been a roller coaster for so many of us um, but that doesn't have to define our future and our capabilities of achieving success not necessarily by numbers but by how we serve people and how we show up for ourselves i'm excited to show up for you in good and in bad days and it truly is an honor to bring you along and just like have you part of my life it's it truly is a passion of mine and i'm excited like this this past week has just kind of rekindled that excitement for me and i have so many ideas so many plans and just want to bring you along on everything i am wishing you the best 2024 i know we're already in the in the month of love excited for valentine's i love 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 valentine's i'm gonna get the house ready gonna do like a couple of videos with you and spend valentine's together like we always do and yeah i hope to see you then i love you leafies so 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 much and i'll see you soon Mwah. bye leafies